Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. We're here on Ocean Drive. I thought it would be appropriate because today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing Versace the Dreamer. And I thought, what's a better place to film it than out here on Ocean Drive? Versace Mansion, because this was actually the last creation by Gianni Versace before he died, sadly. It's actually a very interesting story. His whole life is interesting, but he was shot on his doorstep here. I've only been inside the Versace Mansion once. Uh, I did a, a scene in there for a TV show that I did a couple years ago. It's beautiful. The attention to detail is amazing. Just like I'm assuming it's gonna be like in this fragrance, but it was actually recommended to me by one of my subscribers that I review this fragrance. I don't remember your name off the top of my head, but thank you for the recommendation. I picked this up on Amazon. I believe I only got it for $30. And this fragrance has been reformulated a million times. I'm not exactly sure which reformulation I have. I know that this is an older box design. What it looks like, it just kind of has like these um, stars throughout. And this is the Eau de Toilette. I got this 50 ml bottle for I think like $30 on Amazon. So it's, it's pretty affordable. And then this is what the bottle looks like. I actually really like the bottle. I think it's a very cool kind of vintage design. I almost kind of frosted here with the Versace uh, Medusa head. And also something very interesting about this bottle is that the atomizer is actually built into the top so you just spray it you don't have to take the top off so this is an aromatic fougere fragrance that was launched in 1996 originally like i said they've had a bunch of reformulations it's kind of tough to get your hands on one of the originals but this was one of the most popular fragrances in the 90s and this fragrance was actually the response to dolce and gabbana's poor um fragrance release it's a little noisy out here i'm sorry <laughs> it's the morning buzz of ocean drive right but um this fragrance has said to be compared to jean paul gaultier le mal i'm not sure we'll see we'll smell it here in a second and this was said to be the signature scent of just bad boys mafia like bosses like that's kind of the vibe that this fragrance puts out is just bad boy boss type i mean i'm sure it was popular with many other types of people too but <laughs> all right let's spray it we're gonna do a test strip so easy you don't even have to take the cap off i'm going with the wind <laughs> it's a little uh, windy here in miami beach it has a lot of floral notes in the hair it also has that tobacco and a lot of lavender these parrots i think it's like <laughs> mating season for parrots so this fragrance is very interesting it's very powdery I know that it dries down to be a little more sweet than it is right now. Right now, I'm just getting a lot of the tobacco and the lavender. It just has a major old school feel, definitely. You can tell this is a vintage fragrance. I don't know what to call this. I was on a live stream the other day about vintage fragrances and, and I mentioned this fragrance and they're like, oh, that's the 90s. I'm like, isn't that vintage? <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> Which is crazy to think that the 90s was a long time ago, but semi-vintage fragrance, but this definitely has a very old school feel very like 80s vibes. It's nice, it's very like casual and clean smelling. I feel like this would work really well in the summer and the warmer weather with the lavender notes, but I think it also could be pulled off in the cooler months as well because of the tobacco note. It definitely seems to be more of a, like a semi-formal kind of scent. I don't think that this is something that you'd wanna to wear to like a black tie occasion. <laughs> you could probably pull off like semi-formal or just a very casual everyday fragrance. It definitely gives you a very strong sense of nostalgia and I will say that it seems to be it's very polarizing. I can see why there's a lot of people that don't really care for this fragrance. I think that it's very unique and that's just kind of how it goes, right? It's like you either really love it or you just really don't like it. So it's very polarizing. I would definitely try to get a sample of this before you get a whole 50 or 100 ml bottle. I like it a lot. It's kind of drying down a little. I'm getting a little bit more of that sweetness that people talk about. I don't really see the comparison so much to Lamal. I feel like Lamal is much more, like to me, Lamal just smells like super aquatic, smells like the ocean, like salt water almost, very nautical. This one is doesn't really give me that at all. The tobacco note, I think, is what really grounds this fragrance. It sets it apart from Le Mal, definitely. It's really nice. It leans a little feminine, obviously, with these floral notes, but I think that it's very sexy. I think women kind of prefer that sometimes, too. I don't think that women are just all about these super spicy, you know, masculine fragrances. I think that women do enjoy some florals on a man as well. I think it's really sexy and very old school. You guys know I love old school. <laughs> it always like, I always feel funny talking about that, like saying I love things that are old because it like just takes me to a place that I moved on from. <laughs> and then I'm sitting here in front of the Versace mansion, you know, where I filmed a scene for the TV show that I did when I was dating an older guy, but. 
I give it a solid eight. I think that it's unique. I don't think I've smelled anything really even close to this. I think it's, um, I think you'll definitely stand out from the crowd if you decide to pick this one up. And for the money, I think it's an amazing value. Super good cheapy. You can pick it up on Amazon, like I said, for $30. If you guys would like, I will leave a link in the description to where I got this one. I love the design. It's gonna look really good sitting in my collection. It's kind of funny, I'm starting to, develop a very <laughs> large male fragrance collection. My whole closet is going to be like just shelves and shelves of fragrances, which I'm very excited about. I'm really loving getting into collecting and I'm really excited to see where this journey goes. There's the parrots. These are actually parrots that are making this noise. And that's one of the things that I really love about Miami Beach is that, you know, the diversity and the wildlife and the plants and just being out in nature all the time. Everywhere you go, it's beautiful sunshine and you really can't beat it. So. Very blessed, very happy to be here, and very impressed with this fragrance. Leave a comment below what you guys think of Versace the Dreamer. And if you've smelled it throughout the reformulations, I'd love to know what you think changed, because I'm not sure this is the OG original. I, I don't think it is, but I don't think it's that new either. I think it's a little bit of an older formulation, but I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> so leave a comment below what you guys think about Versace the Dreamer. I'm very impressed by this. I think it's very unique, very masculine, very sexy. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.